what's up everybody great to see you back and today i will discuss on something very interesting today's topic is what are the six questions which the bhagavad gita answers i don't know i will discuss only the questions or the answers also <laughs> i cannot discuss all the answers because that you will come to know as the gita progresses ahead you cannot know it today okay but we will still see what are the questions and we will get a overview on those questions so that we are tuned enough in the future to understand what actually the gita is going to answer there you go if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a personal consultation from me then approach me in my website below with the granisons and if you like this video click the thumbs up and yes please 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 share this video with those people who want to know why i should read the gita yes even if the person is a muslim or a christian you can also share with them so that they will go and read the scriptures of their own religion because the quran and the bible will also answer those questions <laughs> maybe in a different style in a different way in a different tone but yes the answers you will find all right and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you find the answers to these six questions all right and before i start on the gita as i always offer prayers to my gurus who have bestowed the divine knowledge unto me because of which i have become happy always <laughs> as lord krishna says in the gita su sukham kartum avyayam ओम ज्ञान तिमिरंधस्य ज्ञानांजना शलाकया चक्षुरुन्मिलित येना तस्मै श्री गुरुवे नमः ऑल राइट लेट अस स्टार्ट द गीता स्पीक्स टू सीकर्स ऑफ ऑल फेथ्स ओ वेल बाय द वे दिस इज इन द बिगिनिंग पार्ट ऑफ द गीता ओके दिस इज बिफोर द फर्स्ट चैप्टर सो आई वेंट बिट wrong <laughs> i should have started with this but then it's okay to reverse it sometimes life is making us go round and round so i also want to make you go round and round okay so it's written here that the bhagavad gita in 700 concise verses presents a distillation of india's spiritual philosophy set as 18 chapters in the epic fill in the blanks yes you are right mahabharat the gita's teachings cross cultural and religious divides to present a universal spiritual truth as relevant today as when first spoken 5000 years ago set as 18 chapters in the epic mahabharat now what is the meaning of the word mahabharat it has many meanings actually the first meaning is it is story of the holy land of india which is bharat all right then the other meaning is it is about the story of the dynasty of bharat bharat was the father of whom <laughs> should i tell it or you will write it in the comments no no i will tell bharat was one of the main kings in the dynasty of the kurus that is why the kuru dynasty is also known as bharat vansh all right so we know the story of shakuntala and dushyant do you know that <laughs> and their most illustrious son was the great bharat maharaj and there are many bharats in the vedic scriptures one of them is this bharat and then another bharat is the son of rishabdev and meru devi and this is the bharat after which india is named and there is another bharat in ramayan who is brother of lord ram we all know him right oh my god so many bharats <laughs> but when it says mahabharat it refers to the bharat of this kuru dynasty okay and also maha means big so it's very big book it's bigger than iliad and odyssey combined 
if you do not know what is iliad and odyssey maybe you can google i also don't know much <laughs> my guru just said so i'm just uh, quoting as it is I, i i don't know much but they are very big literatures in the european community like the mahabharat all right so set as 18 chapters in the epic mahabharat the gita's teachings cross cultural and religious divides so the gita's teachings are crossing the cultural and religious divide so it is universal spirituality for every culture and every religion to present a universal spiritual truth as relevant today as when first spoken 5000 years ago so this is not spoken now this is spoken 5000 years ago all right as we all know when lord krishna was there in this planet that universal truth is presented through a conversation between god in the form of krishna and his warrior friend arjuna god in the form of krishna <laughs> and his warrior friend arjuna now here basically what is told is that god is telling to arjuna no 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 he is telling to us actually arjuna is just the medium all right arjuna is a paramhamsa he is a perfected soul he doesn't get into confusion but lord krishna wants to use him or rather engage him <laughs> in being an instrument so that he can speak to us through him yes so you will be hearing in the first chapter arjuna is undergoing this paralysis there's no paralysis that's all uh, a drama okay yeah of course arjuna was undergoing paralysis but when i say it was a drama it doesn't it means that arjuna actually cannot undergo paralysis but for that moment krishna arranged the situation in such a way that he actually underwent a paralysis and then because of that he was asking all those questions his warrior friend arjuna so he was a warrior and arjuna was his best friend arjuna faced a dilemma most of us will never face and yet dilemmas are integral to human experience so that means even if we do not face dilemmas like arjuna like killing our cousins our family members our gurus our grandfathers but dilemmas are integral to the human experience that means we will always face dilemma somewhere or the other people getting married they will tell me especially in countries like uh, india that oh my wife and my mother are fighting <laughs> whose side should i take i said that's you don't have a choice you just have one choice stay in between <laughs> while we may not hear the gita's teachings at the dawn of a literal battle as arjuna did the figurative battles in our lives often force us to face the same unresolved problem if we win we lose and if we lose we lose my god so what it means is that we may not be in a battlefield physically externally outwardly as arjuna was but we will have to fight so many internal battles every day in and out inside that is the main battle so it's given here that if we win we lose and if we lose we lose so it's like lose lose situation <laughs> so that is why bhagavad gita is very essential you see such moments can force us to reexamine everything we thought we knew about ourselves the world and spirituality and we find ourselves becoming spiritual seekers mind blowing such moments can force us to reexamine everything we thought we knew about ourselves so when crisis dawns in our life then we start seeing who we are originally right how much substance is there inside us how much strong we are who are our real friends who are our real well wishers all those things are visible when there's terrible misfortune upon us such moments can force us to reexamine what we thought we knew about ourselves the world yes so we may see so many things and we may assume okay this is like this this is like that but when crisis comes we will actually understand what is this i was thinking this to be that but this is something else yes and spirituality so sometimes people uh, in different places 
have some vague conceptions of spirituality like uh, recently i was seeing a video on youtube so there was a video where they said that god came i don't know it was lord shiva or lord ram i think one of the gods he came to the dream of a person and this was somewhere in america and he came and told that person that you should go and smoke a cigarette okay <laughs> so then this person declared that i'm very spiritual you see god comes and talks to me so and spirituality which means when crisis dawns upon us crisis like that of arjuna then we understand how much spiritual we are <laughs> and we find ourselves becoming spiritual seekers that means when we realize that what we thought about ourselves and the world around us and about spirituality all these were false what we used to think about these three topics then we realize that i have to seek spirituality in truth in totality in reality all right not just hover around the surface in the mental plane the gita speaks to seekers of all faiths and creeds as well as to those on no particular path so basically if you are having a particular path which means either you follow a particular religion or you are following a particular career or path or those with no particular path that means if you are headless <laughs> you don't know anything what to do you have no reason to get up in the morning then these verses of the gita are meant for you whatever our frame of reference the universal principles taught in the gita resonate with a seeker's heart so whichever state you are currently it doesn't matter begin <laughs> the gita discusses such questions as the first question who am i my god the next question is is there life after death the third question is how can i balance the material and spiritual aspects of my life yes the fourth question why would a kind and just god allow suffering so suffering and its origin is explained in the gita the next question is how can i help this troubled world <laughs> so all our queries for social service and social justice that should prevail will be answered in this book does my life run a predestined course or do i have choices my god so basically the principle of karma is illustrated here so the first question is who am i this is athato brahma jigyasa which is there in the vedanta sutra also that enquire about yourself who am i okay i am standing i am sitting where am i going i am going to the college i am running behind this girl or i am running behind this man or maybe i am a mother <laughs> but is that all who i am or i am something or am i somebody else yes or am i the spirit soul is there life after that so do we go to hell or do we go to heaven or do we go somewhere at all or suddenly you stop breathing and it all disappears right and nothing is there oh my god how can i balance the material and spiritual aspects of my life should i go to the forest and take sanyas or can i be like yudhishthira maharaj as a rajarishi ruling the entire world and being spiritual all these questions will be answered by the gita why would a kind and just god allow suffering so why does god allow suffering in this world yes janma mrityu jara vyadhi dukha dosha nu darshanam janma mrityu jara vyadhi birth old age disease death these are four miseries dukha dosha nu darshanam they only give you dukha which is misery <laughs> so why does god allow this level of suffering yes how can i help this troubled world is it actually going to help people if you just go on giving them food education clothing shelter as in hindi they say roti ka pramakan <laughs> there's a lot of talk about social service these days you see they say that okay first you should feed the children 
uh, then you should feel God. Uh, uh, so all these queries will be answered here. Does my life run a predestined course or do I have choices? So basically the last question that will be answered is do I have free will or not? <laughs> Does it have a predestined course? Predestined course means is life like a roller coaster? You sit at the top once and then suddenly they will throw you from there. And where do you sit? How good is your car? That is dependent on your karma. Yes, from your previous lifetimes. Or do I have choices? That means, is it like this or can I make choices that make me happy in the long run? Okay. So these are the questions that the Bhagavad Gita is proposing to answer. And if you stay tuned till the end, probably you will find the answers. <laughs> but I will not specifically answer these questions. Let me see if somebody after one year, because as per my estimate, this should uh, take up to three, four years, the entire Gita. Okay. So my desire is somebody writes the answer to these questions here after two years after three years maybe in this very video let me see who does it after i finish the 700 verses of the gita okay that is it from my side great to see that you survived till the end and now you press the like button because you definitely must have liked this video yes i know that <laughs> or if you didn't like you can press the dislike button also you have free will see that's what the gita was telling now you have free will and if you want a personal consultation then please go to my link website below vedic renaissance and schedule an appointment and if you have not subscribed to my channel then please subscribe to it and share it with those people who are wanting to know the answers of these questions or with those who are asking, why should I read the Bhagavad Gita? Yes, I am in a beautiful relationship. I have a very beautiful career. I don't need all this. Okay. So you can share with them by telling that your situation may be like Arjuna one day. Then what will you do? Because now you do not have Lord Krishna. You only have this book. Okay. Until next time, wish you good luck. Bye-bye. See you.